On September 23rd, in Washington, D.C., Pope Francis will complete the process of recognizing Sarah as a saint. The founder of the Spanish colonial system of California missions, Sarah is a towering figure for Andrew Galvan, curator of Mission Dolores Museum in San Francisco. Galvan is an American Indian, and one of his 18th century ancestors was baptized and is buried at this mission. He has admired Sarah since the 1970s. I have worked along the friars since that time promoting Father Sarah's cause. Galvan's cousin, Vincent Medina, says that Sarah should not be canonized. It's documented that he wanted the Indian languages suppressed. It's documented that he um, sent for whips um, for Indian people to be whipped. Medina says the Spanish brought disease and cultural destruction. At the Carmel Mission on the California coast, where Sarah worked and is buried, he is remembered as a defender of indigenous peoples against their Spanish conquerors. Archaeologist Ruben Mendoza of California State University Monterey Bay has come to admire him. And being of, of a Native American ancestry myself, Yaqui Indian, uh, I don't give a pass to colonialism. On the other hand, when you look at the life of Sarah very specifically, you will see that he was not only a man of his time, but he was a man well ahead of his time in that he was an advocate for Native peoples. Mission Indians near Los Angeles, like many other Native groups, say Sarah hurt indigenous peoples. Tribal Chairman Rudy Ortega, Jr. says the church's move may backfire. More people are going to understand what Father Sarah did. I think more evidence is going to come through. The indigenous people of California, all the mission Indians of California, are going to read more about it. They're going to study harder. They're going to find more research. And they're going to learn. And they're going to expose more of the truth. Pope Francis has apologized for the church's treatment of indigenous peoples, but says some inside the church were their champions, and that Father Sarah, as a man of heroic virtue, will be acknowledged as a saint. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.